welcome guys in the previous videos we have talked about how bacterial pathogenesis occurs now uh, we know that in the bacterial pathogenesis there are several different stages right so let me talk about that so if I go back we have talked about five uh, four major stages at the attachment to the host cell then internalization then up unpacking of the virus particles and fourth part is uh, the DNA, uh, genome replication and the protein synthesis right or the viral protein synthesis now in this video we'll be talking about this part which is the viral protein synthesis now depending upon the type of virus we're talking about whether the virus can have either DNA or RNA as their genetic material in, in either kind there are different types of mechanism for their genome uh, replication and the production of proteins right now usually usually virus particles or viruses virus genome if I write virus genome it consists of two different types of two different types of uh, proteins uh, one is called early early proteins early proteins these are caused by or uh, these are coded by early genes early genes and the second part is second type of proteins are late proteins okay and and the example for the late proteins uh, and the late proteins are uh, coded by late genes late genes now both type of genes so these are the type of genes actually early gene and late gene so both those type these are the type types of gene that we can find types of gene okay now early type of gene and late type of gene both type of genes are found in the virus genome right early genes expressed uh, during the first period of the pathogenesis right after the entrance of the virus particle inside the cell right they will express very fast very rapidly and very quick during very very fast period or very beginning of the infection right let me talk so they express they are expressed usually at the very 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 beginning beginning of infection and another hand on the other hand that this late proteins are expressed later they expressed so let me talk they expressed late during infection okay so these are the two different uh, types of proteins right so let us talk about the process of the scheme of uh, the virus genome uh, replication for the DNA viruses so we are talking about the DNA virus and obviously DNA among the DNA virus we are talking about double stranded DNA virus or DS DNA virus okay DS DNA virus or double stranded DNA virus in this double stranded DNA virus how they are doing this so let me draw the double stranded DNA for you okay so this is the double stranded DNA for example for example, say so this is the double stranded DNA, right? And this is a parental DNA. Parental DNA, right? Sorry, it should be E here. Parental DNA, okay. Now, in this parental DNA, there are certain genes that are present. So, let me uh, draw both the types of genes. These are these green colored regions, are the early genes present here. And this red colored genes are sorry these are the late genes okay early genes and late genes so in the very beginning transcription of early genes uh, is uh, will, uh, will be done right so transcription of early genes let me talk so transcription of early gene early genes it leads to the production of early mRNA so uh, what it will produce the early mRNA right so early mRNA is produced now this early mRNA will be 
will be converted into proteins by the translation so they will be converted into proteins so these are called early proteins right early proteins so early proteins are made now these early proteins are factors required for required for the dna replication so they usually required for for dna replication so these proteins can be polymerase enzyme and other type of enzymes so they are required for the dna replication so this with the help of this early protein this dna is getting replicated so let me talk this dna is getting replicated into more copy of this dna so what we get right now we will be getting more and more dna like that okay so you're getting more and more dna so dna replication occurs okay and for this dna replication to occur we require the presence of early proteins and also what we require we require so for this process for this dna replication we need the action of this early proteins okay they are helping in the dna replication as well as they are helping in as well as there are some cellular enzymes that are helping in this process so we get the dna proteins so the role of early proteins is to assist the dna replication process so that our parental dna is getting duplicated and sooner we get many copy of the progeny dna so now this dna will be called the progeny dna okay now once we get more dna now this dna molecules they also have some early and late uh, genes so the late genes that are present late genes that are present in this dna they will start expressing and what they will producing they'll be producing late mrna and those late mrna will produced will produce late protein right late protein now once we prepare the late protein now the late proteins are usually they are usually capsid proteins they usually capsid proteins or they are kind of viral structural protein structural proteins so as they are structural proteins this late proteins will start to arrange and will start to uh, form the structure of viral particles right so how so it will take each of this progeny dna so let me talk each of this progeny dna will be taken as well as this this late proteins components are taken so let's let's say this one one of this dna and the late protein component so as we get the late protein component here so we will we'll be having a kind of arrangement to form kind of capsid outside so as we can see capsid is getting formed once the capsid is getting formed will it will look something like that now inside there is no cytoplasm no water content and nothing simply the dna packaged the progeny dna and packaged inside this capsid now the capsid here is made by the late proteins right and early proteins help to produce this progeny dna so increasing uh, so having this dna along with this capsid we can call them progeny progeny virus particle now these virus particles will be matured and they will be released from the cell sooner so they will be matured and released from the cell from the host cell so that's how this double stranded dna genome <coughs> replicates and it produces the progeny viruses